Welcome to the Charles Carroll Society. I am your host, the self-appointed bard of the American Readout. Sorry if everything is not exactly perfect uh, for you. Oh, got to take off the glasses that are broken. You're not supposed to see the uh, see all the nastiness going on behind. But there's a video I wanted to get out uh, to you guys uh, quickly. Uh, this information came to me down our network, and uh, I really need your we really need your help up here. It would really need your help getting the the information out to as many people as possible over the weekend so that we can um, continue to strengthen the American readout. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you guys. We've already gotten to 25 subscribers and we put out four or five videos. Um, I'm no, and uh, you know, I'm no, uh, what is it called, uh, Candace Owens. Uh, and I guess I'm not as uh, easy on the eyes as some of our younger conservative uh, people and even just better in the front of the camera to tell you the honest truth. But, uh, you know, you keep trying, you do what you got to do and, um, and, and I will do that. So, uh, thank you very much for getting to, to, uh, to 25 subscribers and near a few videos. Uh, and thank everyone who shared a video and I'll keep trying to put some stuff out here. I think this thing is focused on the right thing and all that jazz. I'll try to do the thing here. Like I said, it's a little late, and I apologize if this is a little scatterbrained. So <clears throat> there's a bill, House Bill 419, that's in the Idaho Assembly. And it, we've been trying to pass this bill in one form or the other for many, many years. Great patriots down there, specifically uh, the guy who's been literally giving his life for it is uh, Representative Eric Redman of Athol, A-T-H-O-L, Athol, Idaho. This man has been called every name under the book, and I mean, he just, his whole persona has been savage because all he wants to do is strengthen Idaho, and from our perspective, strengthen the readout. Remember? Um, so this, this representative, Eric Redman, has been out there fighting to, he, he you know, from his perspective, fighting to, to defend Idaho, from our perspective, fighting to defend the readout and strengthen the readout. You've got to strengthen the readout. There's a lot of laws and politics involved in strengthening that readout. His bill, 4119, would, it's called uh, American and Idaho Laws for Idaho Courts. I mean, I mean, how benign is that? It's like the only laws that you're, anyway, it says right here, uh, the bill right here would ensure that only laws and judicial actions which protects the fundamental rights guaranteed in the U.S. Constitution and the Idaho Constitution are enforceable in the state of Idaho, period. I mean, what? Uh, that's right there. I mean, like, it's like, we, in, right now, Idaho is in the federal system. Idaho is part of the federal government. So that means that the U.S. Constitution holds sway here. Idaho has its own constitution. This is our state. This is, this is where we stand. The concept is this is our constitution and, and, and the American constitution. Anything else? You're out of here. Um, um, so what the friends, uh, friends over at the, uh, Idaho Freedom Foundation have rated this bill. And said that people who are voting against it are going to get a ding on their score. Um, so, um, in, in, in the IFF kind of went and talked about it. Oh, let me tell you the issue before we get into it. The issue is that this thing has passed the House, the Idaho House, and it was they tried to kill it in committee. But a lot of patriots, a lot of uh, people who believe in smaller government, called, emailed, and jumped down there, even though they had literally. All these Muslim groups, it's so strange to me that this law now, previously it did, but now it doesn't include the word Muslim. It just says foreign law, you're on your own. Go If you want foreign law, you're in your own country. If you're in Idaho, you're dealing with the Idaho Constitution. What is wrong with that? Okay? And all these Muslim groups came down here and protested. You're like, well, why? We're just saying that he says right here, H. House Bill 419 would ensure that only laws and judicial action, which protects the fundamental rights guaranteed in the U.S. and Idaho Constitution, are enforceable in the state of Idaho. What's wrong with that? Muslim, Sheik, whatever. I mean, I don't care what you are. Why, why is that a bad thing? What the IFF says, he asked, they asked the question, does it violate the spirit or the letter of the U.S. Constitution or the Idaho Constitution? 
No, it does not. It says only the U.S. Constitution or Iowa Constitution can be considered. Examples include blah, blah, blah. Conversely, does it restore or hold the protection guarantee in the U.S. Constitution or the Idaho Constitution? The IAF has said, yes, it does. This is the whole purpose of the law, is to make the U.S. Constitution and the Idaho Constitution the supreme law of the land, and nothing can be used, period. Um, HB 419, the American and Idaho laws for Idaho courts, uh, would state that the application of foreign laws in Idaho, which do not guarantee the protection recognized in either the U.S. or the Idaho uh, state constitution, would be invalid in this state. Why is this? Why? Why are we sitting here talking about a law that says Idaho's constitution is going to be is is the thing in the state? I mean, I, I mean, I mean, you, I, I don't. Mm, Ooh, oosah, 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 oosah. See, I'm on camera now. I gotta be all. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? This would ensure um, that laws, contracts, and other actions are not taken by individual parties or the government which violate the constitutional rights in Idaho or the U.S. Constitution, such as the uh, right of the freedom of speech, the right of freedom of religion, the right to bear arms. So why does the ACLU, who's such a great friend of all patriots and care opposes? So they, they brought this uh, Muslim, practicing Muslim who lives in Idaho, um, um, down from Meridian, and his name is Fad Raghin, F-O-A-D-R-O-G-H-A-I-H-A-N-I, and he said he doesn't understand the bill's purpose. Well, I can explain it to you. It's to make the U.S. Constitution and Idaho laws supreme, and it doesn't allow any single judge to go freaky weird off to the side of this. That's what it does. Fod. He says, but this is what he said. These are all the Muslims that are protesting. You weren't there, and I wasn't there, and because we have jobs and things to do. So, but what I'm asking for is calls, and I'll publish a bunch of numbers uh, on the blog, uh, so uh, so that you guys can get the numbers. Call, no matter if you're a resident of Idaho or not a resident, you tell them that you're planning on moving here, or you live here, or it doesn't have to. Just say, I'm a patriot, I'm very concerned with this law, you got to flood these guys, because what they're going to do is try to kill this bill, kill this bill on Monday morning. And if they don't get, if their boxes aren't full, um, then they're probably going to say that all the Muslims... <laughs> If this law, if simply supporting Idaho Constitution and um, the, the, the state Constitution or the, the U.S. Constitution, if this has nothing to do with Islam, then why are all these Muslims down here protesting the law? Anyway, this is what this guy says. He says, I've never seen anyone talk about Islamic law or pushing to change uh, any of the laws of this state or this country based on Islamic law. He said, because of this, I do not understand the purpose. It's to prevent anyone in the future from doing that. Um, HB 419 is anti-Muslim. Doesn't mention the word Muslim. And anti-American. No, it says America is the best. West is the best. Rakim said, discriminating against Muslims based on cultural stereotyping is unconstitutional and un-American. We cannot trade away our civil liberty. We're trying to assure the civil liberties of the rest of us. And if you were American patriot, you would actually be standing up and saying, I love being in this country. Let's make the laws of this country the top laws that anyone has to live by. How about that? I don't I don't know. What African laws do I even know? Do they I mean, I don't even know any. Um is this a problem? Well, first of all, by the way, one of the things I kind of get is so we get I get this through the news. I get this through the news, and then what I see is the Southern Poverty Law Center comes out against this law in Idaho. They're advocating for people to oppose this law. As soon as I saw that, I'm sorry, you guys at the Southern Poverty Law Center, you guys lie a lot. I saw you guys attack that uh, alt right dude, the uh, Bank Alaska. I saw that. That video was deleted. I wish I would have downloaded it in time. There's a reporter for the uh, the Southern Poverty Law Center who runs their hate watch thing, he smacked the fake Alaska in the back of the head and he did that on camera and it was caught on camera. I saw that. 
But so as soon as I see the Southern Poverty Law Center say we're opposed to this, pretty much I'm like, well, we probably have to support. I mean, it's like you, it's like your reputation is destroyed. My my own mother would be turning over. A is turning over her grade to see the destruction that you have you have brought upon an organization that used to have a reputation that certain people like. Anyway, our Supreme Court Justice, Justice Ginsburg, this is what she said. She said the controversy, uh, why are all these people concerned about foreign law? She said the controversy was based upon misunderstanding that citing a foreign legal precedent means that the Supreme Court of the United States considered itself bound by foreign law as opposed to merely being influenced by foreign law in its reasoning. Yeah, that's exactly what we don't want. We don't want Justice Ginsburg citing or being influenced by foreign law. You know, the U.S. Constitution says that you have the right to have guns, but you know, Australia's Supreme Court said white people shouldn't be trusted with weapons. But uh, Representative Redman, when he was talking to the panel, all these people from the Southern Poverty Law Center, all the progressive papers, one of the reasons I'm making this video is all the progressive papers have come out and said that this is going to, this is bigoted in, in racist. That's all they said. Bigoted, racist, you know, white supremacist, just because you want to live under our law, Western civilization. Um, what he said was, one comment I heard was that I could possibly be a bigot because I want to live under the law of my own land. Well, let me tell you something. This is the House uh, Representative, uh, Idaho House Representative Redman who sponsored the bill in the House. He says, well, let me tell you something. My middle daughter is a teacher from Olympia, from Olympia, Washington. My middle, my daughter is married to a refugee, a refugee from Cambodia. That refugee is a Muslim. This is not about religion. So his own grandkids are being raised in an Islamic household. His own grandkids, uh, um, his own daughter, he has literally, when he has Thanksgiving and, and Christmas, his own daughter is bringing uh, a Muslim person around. Yet, you, you, sometimes you wonder about these white progressive liberals. I'm sorry to say, I know a lot of guys in alt-right, well, I'll lose you here, but I'm sorry, dudes. But if you go look at these guys from the progressive side, and you go look at their families, they're like, I mean, these are white people coming up to me and talk, calling me a neo-Nazi. They're white people, like white progressives who haven't seen a minority and definitely is completely exclusive in their family walking over here and saying that Redmond is a racist when his own kid married a guy from Cambodia and his own grandkids are mixed. I mean, you can either have it one way. You can either not like him because he's not standing up for whatever, or you can say, you can't call him a bigot, though. You can't say you're a racist. I mean, the guy's like, I accepted this guy. He's, you know, whatever. My daughter made the choice, and this is what I'm doing. Yet the progressives still get to paint him as a racist. In Idaho, if this thing gets to the floor, then we can hold account uh, the various people who voted on it. That's called democracy and a representative form of government. The Southern Poverty Law Center, the ACLU, and all these other groups are already, and these various Muslim in care, these various Muslim groups are already trying to short circuit the the democratic and representative process in America by attempting to force the Idaho Senate, now that it's gotten to the floor in the House, to force the Idaho Senate to kill the bill and commit it. They, I, will get, I will go look up all the numbers. I've got the numbers from the grapevine to share with you guys. You guys can get out there. You can post this. Please call. That's what this is all about. Please call. Please call these uh, state senators who are trying to kill. They can kill. These people can kill this in the bill. And then they'll be like, hey, we didn't vote on it. We just decided that, you know, the paper was yellow and we decided not to vote on it. Don't let them do that. We, we really need your help to defend the readout. Give these guys a call and tell them that Idaho should be governed by Idaho law. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, uh, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Remember, every week, try to figure out a way to, find, to, to show 
that you are not supportive of this post-Christian, post-Western civilization system that has grown up in our nation. And this week, we can do that by calling. It is not an easy thing to do. I know that. But call. We're a small group of people, but please call. And call and let people know. Please share this video. We've gotten to 25 subscribers overnight. Please uh, get your uh, friends and people who are like-minded, even people not like-minded, but uh, generally people who are going to help us out uh, to get on the video and subscribe and get this call. I'll put up the, the information on the Charles Carroll Society. I'll try to get it out tomorrow or later tonight, depending if I still have the energy. And um, it's very important for you to help us. Outside, you can call. You can tell them that it doesn't, you don't have to identify where you live. Just say, hey, look, I am absolutely opposed to this. Obviously, we're trying to reach mostly people who live in Idaho or who are residents of Idaho who live outside the state. Because I know a lot of you guys are residents of Idaho and you come back and forth between the states and where you work. So this is something that we really should just press hard on. Um, press hard on. And let them know Idaho should be governed by Idaho law. So I'll try to collect the information. Please take five, min five minutes of your time to support the readout and to build a, and help build a readout. Um, I'm your host, uh, Alex Barron. Thank you very much for your time. Viva Crystal Ray. Viva Crystal Ray. Viva Crystal Ray, either version of Guadalupe.